Chef James Regato incorporates his Italian heritage and that of his Michigan community to create some phenomenal dishes here at The Root Restaurant and Bar. His commitment to indigenous products has dinner guests flocking to see what makes his food so spectacular. All right, chef, it's the moment of truth. Obviously, I should probably start with the fire sure, salad, Sure, start right? with the salad. Yes. It's so fresh. Mm -hmm. And the the crunch from the pistachios. The pistachio, yeah. I'm loving the leeks in this. Vegan schmegan, this is a fantastic dish. I mean, because this is definitely filling, but it's light. Ugh, definitely one of the best bites I've had. Oh, my goodness. Zest from the blood oranges permeates the filling farro, giving this healthy vegan dish some bright flavor. The pistachios add a perfect crunch to this salad. But Chef James said if I'm making it at home, I can substitute any textures to taste. And roasted or grilled chicken will be a perfect addition for more protein. I can appreciate this comfort food, but this is this is not any typical comfort food. I mean, you really raised the bar. But I wanted to take the flavor profiles that I like and, and enhance the pierogi. That is unbelievable. I think that the smoke has a, is a very fitting mm. flavor profile for this dish. Now I got more of the meat. And the coffee and beer, yeah. the way you worked that. Makes you want a coffee or a beer, doesn't it? I know. It? This is fantastic. Thank you. I will definitely be making these pierogies at home, and I can't wait to experiment with all kinds of fillings. Chef James ferments his own sauerkraut, but he said store-bought sauerkraut will still add crunch and kick to the dish. Smoked meat braised in coffee and beer make these pierogies a true Michigan staple. All right, I hate to say goodbye, but I have to try the other one. I don't think I've had fish like this ever. This is so light and flaky and just rice flour. Yeah, absolutely. Like I said, you just get a little bit of the texture, a little bit yeah. of the grit. It's not, it's not overbearing. And the soybeans and that broth is so light and yeah. full of flavor. Mentions of umami. I think that that's you know, definitely where the Japanese have perfected it. Yes. Is in, is in items like dashi. Absolutely. The freshest Lake Superior whitefish elevates this dish from the start. Rice flour is great for dredging this flaky, delicate fish, giving it texture while appealing to health-conscious diners like me. I'll have to remember to salt lightly because the soy sauce and dashi broth already have quite a bit of sodium. That is it for us here in Michigan at the Root Restaurant, but be sure to join us next time to see where else we end up as we continue our search for America's Best Bites. For more on these recipes, go to cookingchannel.tv.com.